right, well, just in case you're not a sheep and you're not going to be easily nudged into doing whatever it is the government wants you to do, just know that they are beefing up machinery in small towns to ensure your cooperation. Small town police are tooling up with elite military hardware. An AP investigation has found that small town police departments are essentially grabbing whatever elite military equipment they can lay their hands on. The 1033 program passed by Congress in 1997 has seen police become equipped with surplus supplies of military robots, M16 assault rifles, helicopters, armored vehicles, and even grenade launchers, all to be used against U.S. citizens. In 2011 alone, police departments across the nation received more than $500 million of military-grade equipment. Well, that's just what we need, a bunch of small-town cops armed at the gills with military equipment. What's next? Are they going to give them DARPA robots and military tanks? These cops can't even be trusted to not unload their weapons as a first resort. Just last week in Austin, a man was shot because the cops said he was going to commit a crime. So apparently the military has already given them some pre-crime technology. So what are we supposed to do to get control over these out-of-control police? Well, some Austin residents think that we need to cut the head off the snake. Ho, ho, hey, hey, howdy, black bitch, you killed the day. Hey, hey, ho, ho, chief on the has gotta go. So what do you want to see happen with this latest shooting? Man, with the latest shooting, really I want to see Art Acevedo make some serious action. Somebody needs to be held accountable. This, this man is a suspect and a homicide, because that's exactly what it is. In your mind, is there anything that the chief can do to rectify the situation? Charge the detective with second degree murder or manslaughter. He could also reinvoke, reopen investigations previously of, of you know, people who have been obviously innocently killed. Recently, the Austin Police Department saw fit to invade private property um, over a noise complaint of a piece of metal that was called in, and they came and shot my dog when he barked at him. Good cops arrest bad cops. There's a bunch of bad cops in the Austin Police Department. Austin Police Department has killed several innocent people this year, people who are not suspected of committing any crime. I know there's a lot of gang violence in other cities, but we don't have that problem here. What we have is a problem of cops wanting to shoot first and ask questions later. Y'all want to come out here and you want to put your shiny badge on and you want to ride around and you want to check everybody out like we're doing something. Not all of us are criminals. Now some other people who are taking matters into their own hands. Instead of hiding and locking doors in the event of a school shooting, Arkansas teachers are arming themselves instead. More than 20 teachers, administrators, and other school employees in this town will carry concealed weapons throughout the school day, making use of a little-known Arkansas law that allows licensed armed security guards on campus. After undergoing 53 hours of training, Dugan and other teachers at the school will be considered guards. The district is funding the program with around $50,000 for ammunition and for use of the exclusive training facilities. All right, well, that's it for the news portion of the show. And now for our daily quote. This one is from George Washington. Overgrown military establishments are under any form of government inauspicious to liberty and are to be regarded as particularly hostile to Republican liberty. I'll be right back after the break with an interview with Ben Fuchs. He's going to tell us about some dangerous FDA drugs that are on the market. Now, if you are watching us on YouTube, please consider subscribing to Prison Planet TV. You can share your username and password with up to 10 other people. Stick around. I'll be right back with Ben Fuchs. Now you can watch the InfoWars nightly news streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at InfoWars.com forward slash show.